the arrest of a Metro police officer accused of having inappropriate encounters with minors. 27-year-old Matthew Terry was arrested Tuesday by police in Henderson after multiple allegations of child lewdness. A News Now reporter Orko Mana got a hold of that arrest report. He joins us now live in studio with what it says. Orko? Well, Brian, Matthew Terry faces a handful of charges. They include lewdness and attempted lewdness with a child less than 14 years old, luring a child with harmful computer material and child abuse or neglect. Now, the first allegations brought forward against Terry were in August 2017 by a former employee at Metro who was also said to be Terry's cousin. She told police Terry showed, quote, strange behavior in his relationship with younger boys. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Kirsten Joyce. We start with breaking news. Two Metro police officers arrested suspected of child abuse and domestic battery. Metro says 26-year-old Destiny Woodruff and 29-year-old John Woodruff were arrested today. Destiny is the child's mother, John the stepfather. Police see on May 9th they hit the child multiple times, leaving that child with injuries. Both have been with Metro since 2016. We were also informed that John Woodruff was fired today because of a separate investigation. This into the Fox 5 newsroom. Newton County deputies have arrested a Conyers police officer on charges of child molestation. Deputies arrested Officer Melissa Ann Statton this morning. According to the arrest report, deputies received a call that Statton had molested her ex-wife's daughter. She was released on bond this afternoon. Conyers police say Staten has been placed on administrative leave with pay while they conduct an internal investigation. Developing now out of Lakeland, this Polk County Sheriff's officer has been arrested, accused of child abuse. According to an arrest report, Austin Motes spanked two children and grabbed one by the neck. One of those children told investigators that he, quote, squeezed her neck and she couldn't breathe. The Sheriff's office did confirm that he has been fired from the job. A San Diego County Sheriff's deputy accused of molesting children is before a judge today. 27-year-old Jalen Fleer facing more than a dozen felony charges. He was arrested last week following a month long investigation. News 8's Heather Hope joining us live from the South Bay Courthouse there in Chula Vista to talk about his day in court. Heather. Yes, and that arraignment just wrapping up. We're just seeing some of the media members come out now, understanding that Deputy Jalen Fleer pleaded not guilty to 15 felony charges. Here's what the judge had to tell him today in court. Mr. Fleer, you understand that you are to have no contact with these three people. That means you cannot harass, strike, threaten, assault or sexually, sexually or otherwise, follow, stalk, molest, destroy or damage personal real property, disturb the peace, keep under surveillance, or block movements of these three people. A former San Diego Sheriff's deputy is heading to prison for more than a decade after being sentenced this afternoon for sexually abusing underage girls. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto, in for Barbara Lee Edwards. Tonight, we are learning new details about the extent of his crimes and the victims who say they had nowhere to turn to. News 8's Elizabeth Sanchez has been following the case for us and joins us live from the courthouse in Chula Vista. A disturbing case, Elizabeth. You know, former Sheriff Deputy Jalen Fleer appeared with no expression as the judge read his sentence. The details of this case are disturbing, especially if you're a parent of a young teenage girl. The prosecutors say he contacted 41 young girls as young as nine years old. Years, and I, I have never seen a more despicable set of facts as I've seen in this case. Jalen Fleer stared straight ahead as the judge handed down a total of 12 years in state prison. Fleer pleaded guilty last month to 20 counts of felony and misdemeanor charges involving sex acts with underage girls. The prosecutor read letters from the victims and victims' families. He tells multiple 12-year-old girls, do you have any younger friends who are interested in older men? I'll give you money to hook me up with them. The younger they are, the better. 
A San Diego County Sheriff's deputy is under arrest tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. 27-year-old deputy Jalen Fleer was taken into custody by Chula Vista police on suspicion of molesting three minors. News 8's Heather Hope has more on what we're learning tonight in this Crime Fighters Alert. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department says once they learned that Deputy Jalen Fleer was being investigated, he was immediately placed on administrative leave from his position at the county jail. They say he had no contact with the public prior to his arrest yesterday. There are now more police officers in Florida schools, but what does that mean for school safety? I-team investigator Kylie McGivern found hundreds of elementary school children arrested over a two-year time period across the state. In tonight's Full Circle Special Report, we ask, at what age should a child be treated like a criminal? So you know where you're going? Okay. Hey. 